so given a pattern with first row 2 second row with 5 and 8 third row with 11 14 17 and it continues then the sum of elements of 10th row is here we can observe that first row element first row first element is 2 and second row first element is 5 and third row first element is 11 and it continues and also the difference between these numbers is 3 here and after 8 you are getting 11 so 3 difference so we can say here 3 is the difference between 2 and 3 and between 5 and 11 is 6 difference and 11 the next number will be 17 plus 3 that is 20 so we can say the difference is 9 so it's a multiple of 3 so here 3 6 and 9 and so on it's a multiple of 3 you are getting so let us consider s is equal to 2 plus 5 plus 11 plus 20 and so on so in the first row first one element is there in the second row two elements are there similarly the nth row will be n elements will be there and so on up to like let us consider tn where it represents tn is the first element in nth row like 2 is the first element in first row 5 is the first element in second row and so on tn is the first element in nth row and this sum can also be written so we can start from here 2 5 11 and so on here you will get tn minus 1 that is first element in n minus 1th row and then again so here i can say this is first element in n minus 1th row so if you take the difference you are getting s minus s 0 and here 2 5 minus 2 is 3 11 minus 5 6 20 minus 11 is 9 and so on we will be getting tn minus tn minus 1 and again here minus tn and we can observe that these are all multiples of 3 even this one so totally there are n minus 1 elements here so we can write 2 plus 3 if I take common 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus and so on up to the number can be taken here n minus 1 minus tn which is equal to 0 or we can write tn is equal to 2 plus 3 times of sum of n minus 1 natural numbers we know that sum of first n natural numbers is n into n plus 1 by 2 so sum of first n minus 1 natural numbers we can write n minus 1 into n minus 1 plus 1 that is n divided by 2 so on simplifying we will be getting nth term that is first term first element in nth row is 2 to the 4 plus 3 n times of n minus 1 divided by 2 and also here in each row there are if nth row means n elements second row means second two elements third row three elements and we can see the difference between the elements is 3 and suppose here nth row the first element is taken 4 plus 3n times of n minus 1 upon 2 is the first element so with the common difference of 3 and there are 10 n elements will be there so sum of the elements is sum of n elements it's a arithmetic progression so sum to n terms is n upon 2 2a plus n minus 1 into d so here we can write n is nothing but 10 elements sum of 10 elements sum of the elements in 10th row that is s10 is equal to 10 upon 2 and the first number we can write 4 plus 3 into 10 into 10 minus 1 9 divided by 2 plus 10 minus 1 this is 2 times a plus n minus 1 that is 10 minus 1 into common difference is 3 so we'll get 5 times and here we can write 4 plus 9 3 is a 27 that is 270 and here 9 3 is a 27
so which is equal to 5 times of 27 plus 4 31 plus 270 which is equal to 5 times we can mention here 301 so 5 times 301 is 1505 so the sum of the elements in 10th row can be taken as 1505 which is option A